Hey everyone, it's Tia1 here. Today, I'm super excited to talk about Flux, a groundbreaking open source text to image model. Developed by Black Forest Labs, the same amazing team behind the original Stable Diffusion, Flux is the largest open source model of its kind so far. With a mind blowing 12 billion parameters, Flux can create visuals that not only rival Mid Journey, but might even outshine any other model out there whether it's open source or not. Let's break down the three versions of Flux. First, we have FluxDev, the open source version with a non-commercial license, perfect for community development. Next up is Flux Schnell, a streamlined version that's up to 10 times faster, licensed under Apache 2, and features top tier models. And finally, there's Flux Pro, a closed source version available through an API. You can download both Flux Dev and Flux Schnell on Hugging Face. Plus, Comfy UI has been updated to support these new models in your local workflows. Of course, Flux's biggest advantage is its ability to accurately recognize the text in your prompts and generate precise results. It can even perfectly display the text effects you want. For example, Check out this poster created by AI modeler Rui for 100 using Flux. You can see a massive Q in the top left corner with a dagger piercing through it. It's incredibly striking. Take a look at some other posters made with Flux. Unlike other models where the text can look out of place, have typos or repeat fonts, Flux generates text that's almost 100% accurate and seamlessly integrated into the image. The soccer poster, in particular, is impressive the text lies on the grass, looking vivid and lifelike. Next, I'll demonstrate the difference in text quality between Flux and SD3 posters using Comfy UI directly on TensorArt. I've set up a poster generation workflow where we'll only change the model while keeping all other parameters the same. Let's see how Flux and SD3 compare. First, let's select the Flux model. The prompt is to create a poster for a spy movie. Click Generate, and let's see how it turns out. Wow, that's a stunning poster. First off, there are no repeated fonts or typos. Plus, Flux rendered the word spy with a reflective effect giving it that perfect sunset vibe. Next, let's test SD3 using the same parameters and see how it compares. Well, the result isn't quite on par with Flux, but it does capture that secret agent vibe with the guy in black, so there's that. In my opinion, the Flux model has tremendous potential, especially for niche applications. Personally, making the most of Flux would greatly enhance my work. Of course, everyone has their own preferences. Some might argue that SD3 is better, while others might prefer Kohler's. That brings me to some exciting news. TensorArt is about to launch a Flux mean contest from August 9th to August 30th, with tons of rewards up for grabs. What I love the most is that TensorArt will offer every new user 20 free image generations using the Flux and Kohler's models. So, if you're new to AI and unsure where to experience Flux or Kohler's, TensorArt is the place to be. You can use your 20 free generations to join the contest and maybe even win some big prizes. So, what are you waiting for? Dive in and give it a try!